So, hey guys, it's Regant here. You're probably wondering what the hell this was. This was a Tropiognatus, uh, the guy I'm sitting on right now. And yeah, first of all, I'm gonna tell you something about the abilities and then I'm gonna show you how to tame it. So let's start with the abilities now. So, this is the Tropio. Um, first of all, he, this is the saddle here and this has like this uh, machine or the grenade launcher here on top of his body. Um, especially about his flying skills, uh, he can fly backwards, forwards, left, right, he can fly straight up, he can fly straight down and yeah, so pretty ag ag agile, do you say it in English, agile? I hope so, but yeah. Then if you press control He's getting this boost and with uh, the sprint button you can even make it stronger. And if you now press C, he, you're making like a, a backflip into the other direction. If you turn your camera obviously. And so a very, very cool and uh, fast diner. And then he already also have always obviously the bite attack. And by the way for the bite you need a gaze, uh, for the speed you need gazo line. And for the next attack you really need grenades and I'm gonna get some more grenades real quick there we go and now if you press control like with the sp small boost or with this uh, fast one you can press right right mouse button and shoot rockets this is this is crazy and this is very much fun you can't imagine how much how much fun it is or uh, just for the fun it's already worth it to get a trope here and yeah I obviously have a very strong now why I, I'm dealing tons of damage with this one now I'm flying even quicker and also still shooting these rockets or grenades and I could do this for hours, it's pretty fun. But even though this is very strong, it's not that hard to tame it. It's a bit difficult and a bit more special, but I'm gonna show you how to, you can tame it easily. So first of all the sets, it's a passive tame and uh, as food obviously yellow cable is the best, second best would be raw mutton and Otherwise, you can also use normal meat or prime meat would also be great. It can't be carried by any other dino or human. It spawns only on Crystal Islas and Fjordur. And the difficulty is 4 out of 5, but don't, de don't be scared. It's not that hard. It's like a bit special. That's why I'm giving it 4 out of 5 points. Um, but still, for everyone, doable and not... Yeah. So, I'm gonna show it to you right now that it's possible. So, let's go. So, after you found the Tropia, we have to build a small trap. We need dinosaur gateways for that and just build like, I don't know, like six or something. Like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five is enough and make sure to leave some space between them and place and uh, gates at the first and the last one. And then open this one. Now we have to lure the Tropio in there and run out then. So there is the Tropio. Now we have to get his aggro. And also I would recommend preparing a net gun. I'm gonna show it to you real quick, uh, real soon why. Now I'm gonna run towards our trap here and just net gun him because otherwise he would grab you and you will be, he, it will be messed up. And now just get to this spot here and wait until he's getting out of his, uh, out of the net and then yeah, just get his aggro again. And there we go. Now it sh he should be still aggro on me. Uh, yeah, there there he comes. And now be quick before he starts grabbing you because he can grab you. And this is pretty annoying. And make sure to close the door as soon as he's in. Uh, I managed it now perfectly. Um, yeah, he can grab you inside of the trap. Then you are messed up. Um, I can probably show it to you a quick. Oh, he's not aggro. Oh, he's stuck, I think, here. Wait a what about if I go to his his beak? Let me try. I want to show it to you so you you know how to how how it will uh, look like. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it real quick. Now, now he should grab me. Ah, there we go. And now you have to uh, fight him or like s struggle free. Um, yeah, pretty annoying if he does this while you're trying to trap him, but you can get out by uh, out of that really easily. So now, yeah, I'm um, just using this net gun to test something here, so you don't have to do this. And now we need chain bowlers. And yeah, 
let's place two by two foundation here and a ballista here. There we go. And then let's turn it towards the, the tropeo and load it with some chain bowlers. In the best case, you also w only will need like one. This should normally be enough. And yeah, now we have to shoot on the tropia as soon as he's out of the net gun again. And by the way, now you can check that these you you are forced to use a chain bowler. If you go close to him, they ah yeah, the it was only a short time visible. You can pause the video at this point. But now we can chain bowler him. Make sure to not uh, go in front of him because he will grab you again. And now put taming food into your last slot. I'm gonna take the kibble real quick here and feed him with it. And then you can just wait until he's hungry again. Um, you see, it's pretty effective for me now. I have a boosted server, obviously. And if you're on your so own server, you can just start hitting him. Okay, let me net gun him real quick. Um, because why do I, why would I recommend? doing him some damage because then he is like trying to heal himself up with eating and he loses like his his food so he's he's getting hungry and if you feed him then you can quickly feed him in a row so you don't need uh, to wait that long um yeah obviously i can't i don't have a mod right now to see his health but now you can use uh, this one here and check his health so this should be enough he will eat and you see his food is already going down to, uh, so he's trying to heal himself up and i'm gonna show it to you uh, after he woke up again so let's wait a bit until he's uh he's out of the net gun there and then we're gonna chain baller him again and then i can show you what i why i did this and why this uh is a very good strategy to do it so there we go Let's get back onto here and chain bowler him again. And now he's a bit stuck. I think we have to get new aggro of him. So I'll lure him at least out of this position. Yeah, it's not working from here. So let's check this one and try to move him a bit. So he's putting his head. Yeah, towards us. Perfect. So there we go. And now we can chain bowler him again from this position. And now you're going to see we can feed him twice in a row. Feed. So now, obviously, he's eating, and if you, now we can feed him again. So this is why it's very useful to do him some damage um, earlier. And now we could feed him two times in a row, and he's tamed. And yeah, you see, it's not that hard. Like it's it's a bit tricky to tame him because you need like the chain ball, the ballista, uh, the dino gates, and yeah. So a bit harder, but not impossible. So doable for everyone I would say so this is already the end of the video I really hope you liked it if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and leave a comment and bye